G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we're here with Winter of Woe Week 4. It's Danny Moonstar as the boss and the objective that I'm doing today is hashtag size S and hashtag control denial. Now the champ pool for this isn't too bad but gear team 2099 is the perfect option for this fight. It's not even close. Even if she wasn't an objective she'd be probably one of the best choices out of the whole lot. That's purely because of the control that she has over the fight. So straight away, I'm going to break into the most important part of this solo, and that's what I just did there and what I do for the majority of this fight, which is I dash back as she uses her medium attack and then use my light attack into her in order to kind of get a free in. It's kind of like Domino's medium, how it's a two hits and it's really long, so you can dash back and dash straight in. Danny's a bit more specific and you can't do it with any champ and it's not as... Free, but Guillotine's massive sword she throws out pretty much makes it guaranteed to hit regardless of how late or early you do it. So that's what you want to do in this fight rather than parrying or doing the normal intercepts. And the reason you don't want to parry is because if you parry three times she falters you because of her node and the only way to get rid of or like get rid of those charges that are booting up for the three parries is to hit her block. And everyone knows that Danny Moon starts block when she's got the moon you'll start phasing and it's all going to be trouble because you're going to be faulted and it's yeah going to be a terrible time. So the basic rundown I'm just going to spit out right now is use that for your ins. Try to manage her power and use your special ones to keep her below two bars. End your combos with a single medium, like the first medium, to discourage her from using the special two. And that's pretty much the fight. While I do discourage her from using her special two and I do power drain a bit, it's not something that I'm 100% committed to. Like if she does throw it like she does in a sec here, I'm not too fussed. I just kind of dex it, you do the dash back, dash back, dash back with a bit of a delay between the second and the third. I like to start my dash, my kind of rhythm, as she pulls the gun up. That's kind of like my, I'm watching the gun for the first part of it, and then I get those two dexes, and then it's just kind of feel it out, wait a little bit longer than that second dex, and do the third. This is just overall the best way to do the fight, because you can't parry a lot, so I would just encourage you to learn this, that dash back and then light kind of in. It's very safe, and you won't be sorry, I promise. Yes, yeah, so I'm just draining a power. That way I can get another in and I'm just waiting for her to dash in towards me, playing a bit of chicken, there she goes, so I light, I go in, I dash back so I don't push her over the two bars, and I'm like, oh, I could like try and get another in, but I'm just going to bait out special two and reset. My advice for practicing dexing the special two is to not burn 10 energy every time in this fight and to instead go into practice mode and practice against your own Danny for free. I'm sure you've got a star Danny Moonstar, so if you want to bring in even a guillotine against whatever Danny you've got and practice this exact thing with the dashing back and the light, the only thing is you want to turtle up a bit to make sure she doesn't throw that special one because you don't need to dex that, you want to practice the special two. But yeah, it could be helpful to practice that long medium animation and getting that light attack in to get your free opening. Once you've got the special two decks down and the light interruption of the medium attack down, that's it. You're sweet. All you got to do is do it for a while because, you know, Guillotine likes that ramp up. I'm doing a lot more damage now than I was at the start of the fight. That's how she works. It's a bit of a war of attrition, but trust me, you'll be a much better player after the fight than you were before the fight if you do practice this medium in and also the special two decks. It's just another thing to add to your MCOC arsenal or whatever you want to call it, your little bag of tricks that you got going on. Yeah, it's, it's pretty satisfying once you get this fight into a good rhythm because Gilly's got that huge light attack so you can mess up a little bit with the timing and she'll still hit Danny. So yeah, it's a really satisfying fight to get down and watching her health tick down more and more and more as those red numbers get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a super satisfying fight. Also, bring a relic. I didn't, but that really helps with extending combos and getting to your next special. It's It could honestly make it permanent if I had done that. That's just like a little eureka moment of... Because sometimes you're close to a special one, but she's also in special two, and it's like, oh, is she going to use special two or dash towards me? And you could just click the relic button and forget about that question entirely. It'll definitely help. If it doesn't make it permanent, it'll definitely help. Anyway, Sig doesn't matter. Um, it's five star, ascended, use whatever. Light attack into the medium. Special ones. Deck special two. Happy days. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys in the next. Cheers.